The vault skin Notting Hill has been very successful for this company, which prompted them to address more non-cash, non-card storage needs. You know, things like air tags, coins, and whatnot, and other sundries. And so they recently released the Mayfair. Hell yeah! Let's do this! Interesting box with a sleeve. Generally, we're just uh, given a black box here. This is nice. They have a sleeve with its information on it. Let's open this up. And, ooh, tissue paper. Fancy schmancy. Well, let's, let's see what we can do here. Take that out. I didn't want to tear it today. And here is the wallet, the Mayfair. It's another zip. It's companion with the Notting Hill. You can see we've got some things going on here. Seems a little thick. Let's see what we've got going on on the interior. Ah, uh, yes. So we have some filler and the Mayfair. Very nice. All right. Let's take a look really close. Some of the stitching. We've got the stamp on the front. Looks like we have a pull strap here for a hmm, little hidden slot. The interior. Some gussets. Interesting. Okay, let's do it. Zippity doo da. We have two external card slots. One here in the front and one here on the back. One to two cards, capacity each. Then we have one external card slot. Where is it? I think I pointed that out to you. It's right here. And this has a, an elastic pull strap that allows you to pull the cards out from here. Capacity one to three cards. And then we go to the internal. So let's unzip this. Well, we can also see we have a little key ring right here. If we go to the interior, we can see we've got four internal card slots. We have one, two, three, four. It just mirrors itself from one side to the other. And then we have these gusseted internal pouches right here. That uh, can hold cash folded once, coin storage, bags, whatever you want, keys. Uh, that's the beauty of zipper wallets is that whatever you put in is generally going to be safe and secure. It's not going to be falling out. Now, this is uh, RFID material all the way through it. You can see what it looks like right here. That's this material and that crunchiness, that is all RFID material all the way through it. Now, the wallet itself measures 4.2 by 3.1 by 0.8, and it weighs 73 grams, or two and a half ounces, 73 grams. Zippity day. Eight cards, four slips of cash, six coins. Uh, the company makes uh, no recommendation on cards, but I'd say the maximum on this is probably 10. You saw we've got the little elastic pull strap and it whoosh, goes back into place. Not bad, and especially for so much on the exterior. Usually zipper wallets are all interior and very little exterior. Lots of options, very well balanced all the way through. This is designed in the United Kingdom and made in China. It's made from a top grain Italian leather. The leather is very thinly cut with strength added via the RFID lining. Now I read that the zipper is YKK, which does denote quality and would be the most likely point of failure, so it is a very good choice. Although I can't find any markings on the zipper to say it's KK, YKK. It has a uh, vault skin branding on it to, on the zipper itself. And so we'll take their word for it. If you didn't realize that there was a hidden card slot here at the top, you think the pull strap was for something here in the front. But yeah, I guess you kind of like that. But with only two cards in here, you can get a feel that how it, it still opens up. I've pushed these all the way down and you're still gonna have some exposure. So if you get any more than maybe two cards in here, uh, this uh, you know, you'll, you'll start to see this. There really is no risk of it coming out. Well, I'm not gonna shake it with coins right there. But there's you know, no way these things are coming out here. And of course, you know, with a lot of work that goes on and uh, movement of this wallet you can still see the coins are all in place including and you saw this my lucky wooden nickel all right pricing on this is sixty dollars not so bad considering other wallets uh, and you know in the vault skin product line not bad at all there's ample options to access cards as I mentioned externally even some cash if you prefer to fold it and put it out here so you're not always having to open up the zip it does have a 180 degree opening of the wallet for full access which is very nice and while convenient the elastic strap out here versus a regular strap uh, it are generally failure points you can find within wallets that use elastic zippers. Same thing, zipper, or oh, sorry, elastic straps and zippers also are common failure points for wallets. So just be aware of that, that you know, the more mechanical you get, uh, the more tricks you try and put into a wallet, the more 
potential it has to actually fail. That said, I haven't heard any feedback that would indicate that it's been a problem with vault skin products. Uh, generally pretty good. And as a zipper wallet, has great capacity and would do well both in a front and a rear pocket. Since this is the only metal that we have here uh, that would cause it, you know, issues there, it's pretty out of the way. And so putting your back pocket really wouldn't be a bad problem. What stands out to me is how well balanced this wallet is, handling equally the need for carts, cash coins, and really other carryables. So now on to the final score. For quality of three, uh, it's very typical quality, but uh, the design actually is what makes up for that. Price is a four, uh, not too bad really for all that you get here. Features of four, lots going on here, great balance between cards, cash, coins, usability of four, very easy to get to things, and perception of four. Fall skin continues to come up with reasonably priced, good products. And that gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. Wouldn't it be great to see how the Mayfair compares to the Notting Hill? Well, maybe you look here. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.